to me, it seems like everybody's jumping on a hate bandwagon. Where I, I am hearing a lot of these the, these words, you know, that um, that he's corrupt, that Carlos Alvarez is this, that he's that, he's the other, you know, all different types of, of, of name calling. And I find it quite interesting that that's not the type of message that you are conveying to the people that you want to sign this. However, the majority of the people are, you know, going on and, and badgering him as, as a person. Well, I, I, as I said, I, I sincerely believe what I said. I think Mayor Alvarez is an honest uh, public servant. I don't think he's, uh, he's, he's corrupted. I don't think anybody is doing that. I just think that his stewardship his leadership of this county has been disastrous. Look at look Miami International Airport uh, and the overages there. Why doesn't JetBlue fly in here? Why doesn't Southwest Airlines fly in? Because all these cost overruns prevent these airlines from coming in. Now, what does that mean? It means that the people who live in Miami can't even get the inexpensive airfares when they travel. They have to go to Fort Lauderdale. Look at the overruns at the Performing Arts Center, which ran $200 million over. Uh, these things just are not sustainable. And we've built a type of debt in this community. You, the mayor, if, you, if, if the mayor were on here, I would ask the mayor a question. Mayor Alvarez, how much does the how much debt does Miami Dade County have? How much do we owe? I would bet anything that Mayor Alvarez can't even answer that question. Uh, I I did I had a debate with uh, with Commissioner Sorensen. I asked her that question. I said, Commissioner Sorensen, how much debt do we have in this community, and how are we going to be able to pay it pay it off? Commissioner Sorensen said, Well, uh, the county manager tells me we're in excellent financial condition. And at the same time, Moody's, which is a debt rating service, just gave our county a negative rating with a, with, 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 with a terrible outlook for the future, mentioning Jackson Memorial Hospital. The mayor can't duck the responsibility for his actions as mayor. He has said it publicly when he asked to, when he asked to be the strong mayor. He said, I will be responsible for my actions as mayor. I am the chief executive officer. Now, now he, he doesn't want to accept those responsibilities. He's, he's trying to make this a personal contest between he and me. And it's, it's only the issue of his, of his stewardship of the community, the fact that he has raised taxes, $174 million, and at the same time given out raises of $132 million to, 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 to public employees. He, he, he gave huge increases last year to his staff, said that they needed all these increases, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and then his staff, and claimed his staff was overworked, and then they, w they went out and moonlighted. They went outside of even our country he, to he, accept positions elsewhere. He explained, That's wrong. He explained that there were certain positions there that were making X amount of money, and that those people, the position was eliminated, or, or that person was replaced by somebody else that was then making the, the, uh, uh, not the same amount of money that that person was. Look, all you have to do is look at the increases in, in the number of employees that this county has had over the years. It's outrageous. But as I said, this just isn't the time to do all this. Is there when you're hurting, when you're hurting and bleeding the way the people are in this community, it's not the time to, 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 to add more misery to their lives. And that's what this commission did, uh, and that's what this mayor did. He proposed a budget. That just made every cities throughout the United States, states throughout the United States, are are are, are cutting back. I mean, they're 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 trying to make life easier for the people in the community. I mean, this is a quality of life issue for the residents of this community, and this commission and Mayor Alvarez has not responded to it. And 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 all my effort is 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 a simple effort. It's an effort to empower the people in this community to make a decision, to say, yes, we want this government. No, we don't want this government. The mayor said the, day, the same day that I announced the recall that he is happy to abide by the will of the people, that the people will vote and he's happy to abide by that. Four days later, he hired an attorney and, his and he expressed the desire to go into court and to and to prevent the people of the community from making this decision, that that that's 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 hypocritical. Yeah, you you say one thing on a Monday and you reverse that on, on a Thursday. Now the mayor also said, well, why shouldn't he go into court? He may have said it on your program. Norman Brayman went into court at, on the baseball issue. I went into court on the baseball issue to allow, to give the people of the community the, the right to vote yes or no when using public funds 
to give to the to the to the Florida Marlins. The mayor <laughs> proposes to go into court to stop the people from making a decision. There's a there's a fundamental difference between his view and my view. And, and what's in the best interests of the community. During, but let the people decide. During his tenure as, um, as as county mayor, do you think that Carlos Alvarez has done anything correct? Maybe if you if you give me about a week to come up with a uh, an answer to that question, I could I could possibly come up with one or two things. But right now, offhand, I I can't think of any positive anything positive that Mayor Alvarez has done. I'm sure there are that, I, that I've overlooked, but that's not the issue. I mean, the issue is, is, is what's, happen, what's happening in this, in this community. Mayor Alvarez believes that, that building a, a baseball stadium, building a tunnel, um, doing all these things is what makes a city great. He has said that. He said what makes a city great are, are building all these things. Manny Diaz felt the same way as mayor of Miami. And I remember in, in a debate with, 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 with Mayor Diaz, and I've said it with, with, uh, with Mayor Alvarez, we have a fundamental disagreement as far as what makes a community great. They believe that building these high rises on Biscayne Boulevard and, and Brickell Avenue, uh, which very few people live in, I may add, and building stadiums and tunnels, that's what makes a, a, a community great. I believe what makes a community great is the quality of life of the citizens who live in that community. And that's where we differ. This is a quality of life difference. Do you have any political aspirations? Oh, heavens no. No. I'm going to allow you the same opportunity that I, and the same question that I asked uh, uh, the mayor. I asked him why people shouldn't sign the, uh, the petition. And you've just given us a bunch of reasons why you think we should in Dade County, but... If you want a couple more minutes and let everybody know, no. in your opinion, why should somebody that's considering today, maybe I should sign it, maybe I shouldn't. Carlos Alvarez is a nice guy. He's never done anything, you know, the, uh, corrupt wise. Um, and like you said, if you may not like his decisions, that's what, what your motivating uh, factor has been here. Hey, if you're sa- if you're if you're satisfied with the quality of government here, then do not sign this petition. However, if you're if you're dissatisfied and you've complained about the quality of government in this community, then then join us. And you have until petition. what date to sign? We have until, well, we, we're, we, we're up against a time deadline. The commission has made it very, very difficult, as you can see by reading this. So we're on a time deadline here. Uh, I urge your people, you'll see our uh, people out with the recall Mayor Alvarez shirts on. They'll be at the early voting, at all 20 of the early voting. I urge you, vote early, see our people, sign this petition, and let's put this to a vote, and let's start and make an effort toward, towards getting good, clean, uh, transparent government that will, that, will, that will work for the citizens of the community. In closing, Mayor Alvarez said that this a special election, if the, the uh, signatures are collected, which I don't have any doubt that you're going to be able to collect the 4% of the signatures that are needed. Now, the question is going to be if people are actually going to go out and vote, and I don't have to tell you, Mr. Brayman, historically here, uh, People just don't like voting. Unfortunately, we don't like getting out, and we're, and we're lazy when it comes to voting. Sadly, that's you know we see what 12, 15 percent of registered voters that actually participate in in, in elections historically here in county elections and uh, you know when they're municipal elections, uh, what have you. Do you think that people are actually going to get out and vote? Yes, I, I I do because because if they don't, then stop complaining. If, if people have been complaining, let them go out and vote. And if they're and if they're not going to vote, let them just stop complaining. But.